So last night we got full information for the new Dokkan Fest Turles, and this guy has a lot of people just, I felt honestly just disappointed, straight out saying it. I think a lot of people expected like this guy to be stronger, and I personally wasn't really too like wowed by his like unit design, and as I spoke more with other people in the community, you know, looked at some of his numbers, I personally am just not like as excited for this you know anymore like i feel like when i was reading his details initially i thought he was a little better potentially depending on how high his defense level is and i don't know i feel like i want to still use him in the game before i give any final judgments but honestly like it's going to like say my personal opinion i feel like the gammas are even better than this turles and that's kind of crazy because the gammas at this point came out what in october so they're gonna be over seven months old basically like seven and a half months old and it's like this surless brand new dokkan fest is not even as good as them now i i will say it's like in a sense it's like okay well it's kind of cool that we are getting a like the gammas are so old and they're still so good but at the same time, there's a brand new unit that they're asking for you to summon on. And we have units like 23rd World Tournament Goku. We have Ma Jr., right? God Goku. And they're all, those are all really, really great units. Like, I feel like a lot of people usually just agree that those are like the top two URs. And they're much better, I feel like, than mm, like Path Parked Goku, Gamma, Gamma 2, right? So, Turles not being like even as good as them, I feel is a little disappointing, but... I wanted to know what everyone else is thinking about these guys. And one last thing before we get to new one, I do also want to bring up like the little stats that I did for Turles, right? So these are Turles' defensive stats. We do have his offensive stats that I think, um, dang, I, I would have to find my response to Pat's. Pat, um, did do some calculations himself. I know it's somewhere in here. Uh, where I was speaking with Pat, but I can't find where exactly I was speaking with him in responses. Um, yeah, here it is. Right here. So these are like his um, offensive details. And I'll bring up his defensive details. I probably should have had them both up at the same time. But um, so these are like his general numbers. Like, you know, st standardly at Rainbow Link level 10, right? Fully built up without support, uh, let's say he has um, Thirst for Conquest, Big Bad Boss is active, 640k defense, with 50% support it's 765k defense, if he has all links no support it's 730k defense, all links with 50% support 874k defense, now this is a very juiced up situation, uh, unless we get like Team Turles to EZA, Grant J and Ape Turles to EZA. I'm not sure and how like very often you'll be able to see a situation like this. Does Team Turles even have prepared for battle? They do. Okay, so that that could be an interesting you know combination with Team Turles and like all his links active. Like if Turles gets an EZA, that is gonna be very helpful for this guy specifically. Considering like let's say you have the new banner unit in slot one, then Team Turles in slot like three or even the amount of rotation right this is going to be um like very very good for them but um if you take a look at offensive stats right again yeah you have to keep in mind if he's under 50 percent hp at the start of turn his uh stats also do get lower but these are like his numbers generally um without his intro yeah you're never gonna see interactive so he's starting off like around five mil oh is this fully built up uh, I don't think so. I think it was just like the start. Yeah, so like 5.9 mils starting off with with Esther Cooler. And he gets around 300k per stack. He can do multiple supers. Like once he gets super effective, like right here in his active turn, he's doing like 7 mil super effective and he could do like 4 of those. That That's like not bad damage. But I'm not going to say like that's... Man, well, it's pretty good, but... Uh, we'll see. <laughs> I mean, it is fine damage, so for sure for sure probably i would say good maybe yeah i'm not it's hard for me to rate damage sometimes um as especially as a more defensive suited player 
But it's like we have seen units who do similar damage already before. Other than this, a lot of them have much better defense. Like, let's, again, 23rd World Tournament Goku. Sure, he's a little more difficult to, like, get his full power out. But he's doing much more damage than this guy and defense than this guy. Ma Jr. is doing much more damage than this guy and is much better defensively than this guy. God Goku doesn't do as much damage outside of his active turn I'd say but he's much more better defensively than this guy and I feel like it's just not even out enough right. Um, now with Amon and Raisin and Big Bad Bosses they're the support in it. it that's, this is where I'm starting to be like okay like you know quad 10 mil super effective with his active right it's like that's it. that's where things get a little interesting for sure oh um, once he has five stacks up which usually five six stacks is when what well, the active and then the five stacks uh for super attacks is when he's able to get the super effective i believe because he has to do six attacks right well, just, yeah, six attacks in general. So, I guess, assuming they're all super attacks, right? Imagine if this is six super attacks. Oh, my goodness. Um, and then his defense levels right here, again, basically the same as I was calculating them with 50% defense support. And then this right here. Um, yeah, just uh, <laughs> very funny for sure. Now, uh, this should have been... I just wanted to lay all that out, just the groundwork about Turles, just so you guys understand where the community kind of is at. This defense, even with the 20% reduction, this is like not as high or enough as, you know, it should be for a brand new Dokkan Festival unit. Um, but at that time, it's been around two hours and I want to know everyone's thoughts on Turles. I'll retweet this and then we'll refresh at the end to see if I missed anything. Okay. The support and not what villains need it at all. I do agree because it's pretty much just another like, even just like if you know, this guy is like really, really good. He's just another major damage dealer. He's not giving something new to like villain teams. And a lot of us were hoping, you know, Turles would be like, you know, like a Boma type unit for villains, you know, like Turles usually does have support in his kits, like all Turles's do. And this guy does have 3k 18% attack. And if both beaters do get that, you know, that six key and 36% attack for the rest of the battle for all extreme class allies, right? But um, the issue is that you have to be facing Goku family or Kid Gohan, right? And I realize, you know, not all Kid Gohans are going to be on the category. Uh, I made a mistake last night <laughs> because there's going to be like, you know, Krillin and Kid Gohan, right? Stuff like that, right? And I completely forgot about that. But um, you're not going to see this active like ever, never. Yep. You're, you won't ever see this active. So that's just like like it's a completely useless part of his kit and it's so powerful like if he had this in his kit active at all times it would be genuinely a night and day difference for the rest of battle if he's a leader he gives six key and 36 percent attack to everyone on the team uh considering you're running full extreme class which you likely will be running a full extreme class you know space traveling warriors lead right i mean you you could probably, I don't know, throw a Kai Goku on here, I guess, if you wanted. But usually, you're just going to run all extreme class. And that 6 key and 36% attack is such so, so huge. It's actually just, like, disgusting. It's like healing don't matter <laughs> if you're running this guy's leaving as active. But it's like, you can't ever get that active. And then, it feels like they compensated, like, his overall power because of this. And... I just really weird. Um, very unfortunate. The leader goes criminally underrated. Unfortunately, he's very restrictive. Probably won't be getting his really good shit until like worldwide around seven, eight range. Yeah, because if we like rate the TURs, hmm, let's see. Uh, Goku, I, I like Goku a little more than my junior right now, personally. Goku and my junior, God Goku. I think would is comfortable at three. I feel like Kale's at four. Pat Park could go at like at five. Gamma one, six. Gamma two, seven. Then like some people are saying Yamcha's better. I feel like I don't think Yamcha's better than this guy, but I I don't know. I feel like I don't like Yamcha better than this guy. But Terrorless, I think I would be comfortable at eight or even nine. I guess if you really wanted. 
Um, that pushes the S tier or Super 17 at 10, funny enough, uh, in my personal list. But that's like kind of what I'm thinking. <sighs> okay. His whole value is an intro and never activate, which is very cool. To yeah, exactly. Like, you could eat. Like, if you know about the game and you've been looking into the game the whole time, you could easily tell these they compensate for his intro buff and then you can't ever get it. Like, um, we're saying all the time, oh, maybe there's going to be a super class extreme, like red zone or new super class difficulty events. We could use all these like villain units that need these super type enemies or, you know, like all these units like Kel and Khalifla want to be facing a pure Saiyans enemy and stuff like that. And it's like, we're never going to get that. It's like, we're, we're not getting that. It's been months for like a bunch of these units that want these like super class enemies. And we just don't, we haven't seen it. We're, I, I don't know what to tell y'all. <laughs> um, hopefully, like, worldwide, kind of bought it because something like that. But I wouldn't expect to get, like, a major difficulty event during this month specifically. Like, this upcoming month in June. I would not anticipate that. Um, unit of all time. Boringly made it ex <laughs> just an excuse not to open the game a couple more weeks and tempted to spend money. That's fair. Save for Tanabata. I think skipping this banner is smart. Even though he has two banner units. It's like, it's not like, this is not like Ginyu. <laughs> this is not like how Ginyu was. This is um, much different than how Ginyu was, unfortunately. <laughs> he has some flaws and problems performance-wise. Would you like him? I mean, if you like him, good for you, right? He's still a top 10 TUR. It's not like, okay, we say he's mid. He's still going to be good. He's still going to be able to beat all the content in the game. Um, like, if, especially if you set him up properly, but... He's not as good as he should be, uh, like being like a what, seven, eight, top ten TURs, and on release, and then it's like a lot of those units above you are units from like, literally seven months ago. Uh, <laughs> that's not looking too well for you, in terms of how your performance should be as a brand new unit. But if you like him, kudos, right? I mean, if he's like right under the gamma's, right above, like Yamcha. I mean, like, I wouldn't say Yamcha's bad. I wouldn't say Gamma 2 is bad. You know, if he's in a range of power, he's good. At the very least, right? Yeah, uh, very, very sad. Oh, poor Thad. I feel bad for Thad. Thad was so excited for this. And it's like, I kind of saw Thad coping a little, just a little bit. And I had to, like, tell him his defense numbers like this. Like, this defense number is just unacceptable. And it's like... Not many people are going to have this guy's bounty unit with a 50% defense support. And then it's like, who else do you run? STR Cooler, who gets like crushed in a lot of situations, right? And then how are you going to get like some of these things like destroy the universe? Like if LR Turtles easy A's, it'll be a much different story. But like not many people are going to get um, this guy right here, the Amon and Raisin. Um, so I don't know. It's like it's like this. These guys are really really strong. Though. First, if you get them, it's gonna be such a massive help for Turles. But yeah, um, hmm. if you don't have them, then you're kind of stuck with like around here, and then like around here, and it's like that deepens. Um, even with twenty percent reduction, he'll likely be able to like live these supers. I, I don't think he'll, he'll get necessarily like one shot all the way, but he's going to take, he's basically going to get a one shot. He's going to take like 500, 600 hit damage from a lot of these bosses. I mean, against Sin Shenron, with this level of defense, he does get one shot. He takes 800 hit damage with this level of damage. But this is like his, like, like, I feel like a lot of times you're going to be running support on the teams like that. So I don't want to like be like, oh, <laughs> it is worst situation fully built up basically he gets one shot by sin though ideally he doesn't um but it's like you could say oh god goku not getting his orbs he gets one shot by sin right you know you guys kind of get the point here but so it's not like he's gonna like oh my god goku could just like dodge it or like take much better this guy will still be taking 500k still ish damage from like sin shenron even with his full defense buffs and that's like not good right you know He's also extreme class, so he should be taking less damage than other units, but um, he still takes a lot, <laughs> right? Like, compared to a super class unit, with his level of defenses, he does tank better because he's extreme class versus extreme class. But 
he still takes quite a lot because of all his design is 20% reduction by itself is not enough like if like this guy provided like damage reduction support to Turles somehow that would be such a game changer or if LR Turles provides damage reduction support to the rotation somehow or terrifying conquerors and then this Turles takes advantage of it right Yanta Pan Bardock tier, yeah. Extremely disappointing. You hate the Dynasty Thad. Honestly, those units in might be better. Again, I feel like a lot of people are saying Yamcha's better. I don't want to say so just yet. I do feel like he's around that level. I think Bardock is not as good as this guy. I think he's better than Bardock. I think he's better than Pan for sure. Easy skip since you have Tech Bardock. Yeah, Tech Bardock is the one returning in it. Um I disagree. Um, I think people have to like start learning to like slowly let like, go of this tech go on, and they probably should have already for a little bit. But it's like Turles is definitely better. Um, like he 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 tanks super attacks better, right? If you have him fully built up, but I feel like you have to jump through so many more hoops than this guy, and he's not doing like he's not even doing a quarter of the damage this Turles does. Because leader skill is not even like half as good as this Turles' leader skill is. Like, uh, hybrids is in a terrible spot right now, too. Um, the Turles is definitely better. I, like, if Tech Gohan is on rotation the whole time, he's supported. Like, with, I don't know, that's around like Esther Gohan on rotation or something. And then he has like five stacks up, you'll eat Sin Super Attack better. But it's like this Turles overall is just going to be performing better. I, uh, I don't know. I think people need to let go of this boy. I'm a, I'm a huge Tech Gohan fan. I love him. Y'all know if you're a longtime fan of Minato's Flash, right? You you know I love this guy, but he's good, but he's lacking essentially raw defense with some damage reduction. Yeah, I think the damage reduction is way too low. That's an issue, and the damage reduction is probably super low because they compensated for the support, <laughs> right? Um, Mr. Pen. Ooh. 7 to 8 TR, bad. Should have been better, still good. Cool has a better team, so cool is better than old Gohan. Ass. Disappointing, he also has a leader of Floater and Astro Cooler's team. His active skill would be a giant ape transformation. So, like, yeah, I said that, but I, when I first saw this guy, I thought he had the giant ape transformation, and I realized it was always Gohan, right from the movie. If it was just like a giant ape Turles. And then he can have the super attack like nullification mechanic that Jane Eeps do basically. That would be a pretty big game changer for this unit because he could he could easily take normals in the game, right? Like if you have him with the 800 k defense, and then he has 20 percent reduction, he there's like he takes every normal in the game extremely comfortably, like not even any question, any doubt. Um, even if it was like type disadvantage against a super class enemy, he would take like double digits from normals. But um, he doesn't have the nullification like uh, as if a giant ape would have it. So, eh, yeah. But if they give him that, then it's like Piccolo Jr. has giant form. Um, uh, like on Piccolo Jr. it seems you could have Piccolo Jr. with the giant form, or it's Piccolo with the giant form, this Turles with the giant form, and it's like a lot. And then if they want to release like a Rudigard in the future or a giant Lord Slug, it'll get to be a bit much, right? <laughs> it's like all those units could go giant and then you just never get super. 20% reduction is already the base level amount to be solid, and you set the build up. Yeah, it's like he has to build up his reduction per super attack he gets. So, like, if you get unlucky with his additionals, like, all his additional chances become super attack. So, he does his first super. Then, additional does a high chance. So, it's a coin flip. And you have to be about 50% HP. And then, when you get six attacks off, he gets another additional that's a high chance. Like, I feel like he could potentially pop off and build up really quick for you if you get a triple super turn one. It's like, oh, we're cooking, right? And then, there's, like, going to be a lot of situations where, like, me... I get like I have terrible luck with like my junior. I'm gonna get like his additional normal, then another additional normal for the potential system, and then he's not even fully built up by like turn five when I'm in the final phase of the fight, right? So <laughs> it looks okay just to be above average, help more, more than 20% reduction. Yeah, not good enough. Don't get his points. Yeah, a lot of people are thinking the same thing. No guard defense on super Buna bad. 
similar situation people shout out on but he's probably top five to you are it's active yeah i think no one's i think there's two things that no one's talking about in terms of like this guy and how strong he is his active skill um is gonna hit very hard but again that depends if you get all the super attacks off but in that same note if he does get all these super attacks off he could potentially heal up to 24 percent hp within the turn right which is something i literally tweeted about right before um and it could be useful i can be yeah, like it, someone said this right here right you have to be really lucky and have your hp above 50 percent right but it's like yeah super attacks aren't guaranteed you aren't guaranteed to get this and that's a big part with the active skill the active skill is gonna get hard like hit hard guaranteed you are able to get all these stacks up you are able to get his passive well i guess his passive doesn't need to be built up offensively just defensively right um but even then that depending if you're above 50 percent hp right that's another thing um so it's just a lot that this guy kind of has to go through right um and it's like it's I, I see your point because a unit doesn't always have to like tank super attacks like a baron unit i'm not expecting to tank super attacks sometimes right like unless they're clearly it's designed to be a defensive unit like um raisin and almond but it's like we i'm gonna raise this right but at this point we have like multiple units that do turlis level of damage and then they also tank supers at the same time well, the Turles is doing Turles level of damage, but then he can't take super attacks, or he takes like 500k plus damage from super attacks. It's like Kid Goku, at him, like take. I feel like they'll have similar levels of defense. Turles in his best situation will have, yeah, even in his best situation, will have around the same level because Kid Goku could get like what 28 ish percent reduction. Um, and then he he's like around 600 ish k level defense like extra eight percent reduction does definitely matter like 29 percent reduction compared to 20 percent that is a difference people act like that eight percent nine percent is not a difference it really is it, it matters like if Charles had 30 percent damage reduction that would be a huge difference for this game. even just an extra 10 percent damage reduction would be a massive difference i feel like him and kidoka are gonna like be around similar defensive levels kid kid goku not as good as him I was gonna make a cut and I forgot exactly where my last point left off with unfortunately but I was talking about this and I think I was talking about like his healing and it's just like he consistently isn't necessarily gonna get all that stuff off because at the end of the day it's a coin flip I mean if you have good luck with those units cooler Piccolo Jr thumbs up right you know but it's not like he's gonna be like Piccolo Jr defensively at least I feel like consistently might be better than this guy, uh, for sure. But yeah, he'll age on 39 months. Bounty unit saved him. Oh my god, I fuck.
He only dealt in three to nine months. His bounty unit saved him from being atrocious. He's like if Super Saiyan Machine got a good bounty unit. Uh, I also think his bounty unit is better than him. Is his bounty unit better than him? Ah, uh, he's better defensively. That's a big thing. I accidentally closed the translation from Gurai. I think I don't know what I closed. Um, I'll. Mm, uh, what is I'm in right? I'm in a reason. Uh, I feel like he's gonna age better than him. I don't know if he's better like right now exactly, but he'll probably age much better. So with guard reduction, this multiplicative defense is like, <laughs> yeah, and he's supporting too. It's a very stupid unit, very very dumb unit. Um, holy skip, you're gonna have 17 Cinder and people act like he's complete fodder or nah. He just isn't with their stones. We've got a new LG or something you like a lot more. Yeah. I mean, the 17s aren't really that great either, like, as a unit. Um, this guy's definitely underwhelming, though. I think that's what most people are disappointed in. Okay, let me refresh here and see if there's any other responses. And then I'll check the quotes. Um, uh, Grush. <laughs> Who? Yeah, that's a, that's pretty telling. Who? <laughs> Who? <laughs> They made a turn less than the same level as Raditz. Uh, let's not say that. He's not as bad as Raditz was. No. He's good. 7-9. Yeah, I agree. Not impressive defensively. Yep. Going to start off slow. Yep. Inter minus no will not be there. Yep. All over the middle. Just like middle of the pack, right? Yep. Not as bad as 17, but definitely not Gamma level. Yeah, I feel like he's under Gamma level. I like Gamma 1. and Like, let's say Gamma 2, right? Very similar offensively gamma 2 is going to like if you take a look at the offensive numbers that pat had that's where i close okay but the offensive numbers right um i feel like gamma 2 is putting up similar numbers he's not super effective he has a high chance to crit but then gamma 2 is also supporting uh gamma 2 is also he has the the nullification right the 50 percent key blast super attack nullification which is really really strong Movie Heroes is still in a much better spot than Space Traveling Warriors is right now. Um, and yeah, it's like you go down all the way in the list, and then he has a perfect partner in Gamma 1. Well, this turtle still does not have, like, necessarily a perfect partner. Like, that's where we're hoping the turtle um, either the Jane Turtle EZAs or, like, the LR Team Turtle EZAs, and that'll drastically help this unit. But yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's my point there. So that's about it. Let me know what y'all think about Turles. Thank y'all for watching and I will catch you in the next video. Peace out.